No, I've been filming skating since I was in sixth or seventh grade. My friends came to me and said, let's make a skateboard video. The idea that we were gonna make our own video and be in it was just, was mind blowing to me. There was like nothing else that I was concerned about, nothing. I didn't care about what was going on in school. I didn't care about what was going on in the real world. All I cared about was making a skate video with my friends. Chris is not the typical filmer. <laughs> oh, yes, dude. Oh, yeah, in the beginning, he sucked, man. And then he's made so much progress. Chris's personality is really like, like he's gonna do whatever it takes to be good at it, get the job done. Like he's so reliable. I was filming for something and uh, there was like a roll, roll of toilet paper in his car. And I was like, oh, you got a roll of toilet paper? That's weird. And he's like, well, no, like, I try to have everything a skater would need. And I was like, really? Like, what? And he's like, well, like, I have uh, razor blades, I have grip tape, I have Bondo, I have uh, bolt cutters, I have rolling papers. He had it all, right? It was cool to see a filmer who was going to accomplish what he set out for. It, it, it was, there was going to be nothing that deterred it. And I'd never met a filmer who went through such great lengths to make sure a skater could get the trick done. As soon as you do that only nose grind, it's done. When you're filming skateboarding and somebody is trying to trick over and over and over like hundreds of tries, as a filmer, you have to be right there with them. You have to be a part of it and you have to be focused almost as if you're trying the trick also. You want to be with them. You want to make sure that their focus isn't getting broke and that you can also give them that support of like, hey, you can do this. Like, you're, go you're going to do this. And I know you can do this. And that's why I'm not going to give up and you shouldn't give up. Everybody skates different, but you know how that person skates if you have a relationship with them, and that's something I've like always tried to to be focused on. Good job, dude. My first impression of Chris was that he was a little quirky, but very positive, motivated. He came in as a very eager filmer. He was committed to improving. It turned into a filmer to a, a true kind of creative filmmaker. He's clearly separated himself from the, the bulk of his you know, original peers and has become someone who really can add value and, and create amazing things in any, in any genre, any category. I've always been very happy with the little achievements. At one point, I really did think filming one pro or filming one clip in a real video was the life achievement. And it was, you know, and it just was like, cool, now I did that, what's my next goal? Since I came to DC, I've been presented with opportunities to, to film different things. They had a moto team and they did surf stuff. That opened my eyes to, wow, there's more stuff than just skateboarding and I should be open to it. I'm at this new chapter in my life where I'm going from like just filming skateboarding to now filming music videos, like NFL stuff, commercials, you name it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm out there trying to get the experience and doing it. This is a can yeah, so you great. Can, like, cut no, in. Yeah, so I can cut right there. Yeah, yeah, probably that's like fine. Punch I can in. cut that. And then we'll come back so up. This is the hard part. That's fine. That's fine. So let me just... I didn't want this to just end one day and I didn't want to feel like, crap, what am I going to do? You're not gonna film skateboarding forever. You need to have a backup plan. I've always tried to take steps and had goals. That way I've always felt like 
if it were to end tomorrow, I'm very satisfied. I'm very like fortunate to to have done all of this. Thank you all so much. Thank you so Skateboarding has a certain way of doing things and a certain approach, but that doesn't mean that I have to take that way. Chris is, I mean, he's a family man. Dude, in this industry, it's like most people aren't married. Most people don't have kids. It's it's a real like kind of single lifestyle. Yeah, I've been married over 10 years. That's like pretty wild in, in skateboarding, you know. But I wanted a family at an early age, and I wanted you know to have a kid. And people say you can't do this, but why can't I do it? That's fine. That that's how everybody else does it. But what do I want? I'm pretty fortunate to be able to do what I love and still go home and have a family there that's like waiting for me and they're super happy that I went off and did what I love and they're super happy to have me home. I mean, there's two things to it, right? You want to film with somebody who's going to film good, make a good project, but also that you enjoy hanging out with. Like, you know he's going to get along with everyone which is like just as another reason why you want to work with them. I don't know if I think of myself necessarily as like a creator. I'm there to create opportunity. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating an opportunity to be available for these guys and do what I do best while they're doing what they do best. I let down on what I do in any sense, all of this can end tomorrow. I don't want to go like have a regular nine to five job. I want to be holding a camera and I want to be making films. To me that's important and that's what makes me happy.